How many people go through their careers without paying attention to their most distinguishing characteristic, their voice? Have you ever considered the physical effort a person must put forth in order to make the sounds of effective speech? Doesn't it seem like some people try to move their lips and jaws as little as possible, almost as if they were trying to be a ventriloquist? But who looks like the dummy? Would this person sound like a winner? Everyone has standard vocal equipment that can be trained to create a mood of confidence, convey an impression of sincerity, and show enthusiasm. Simply turn on the recorder while talking on the phone and listen to how you sound. Is your pitch too high? Listen to the vocal variety in your voice, the highs and the lows of your voice. Practice singing your presentation in the shower to play with your voice, and then find a private place to read aloud and be dramatic. Use your mouth. Say the word linoleum. Accentuate the movements of your lips. Then tape record your favorite newscaster and try to match the sounds in her voice. Do you have a rising sound at the end of your sentences? This is a nice car? This is the restaurant we have chosen? Improper inflection gives the impression of powerlessness. When you listen to your tape, do you telescope your words or run your words together? Do you say gonna, wanna, have to, for going to, want to, and have to? Or do you say, would ya, could ya, should ya, for would you, could you, or should you? Do you use fillers like, um, um, or you know, you know, I, I mean, I mean, almost everyone does it, but careful diction is the easiest habit to form with a little concentration. In George Bernard Shaw's play Pygmalion, Henry Higgins, a speech expert, transported Eliza Doolittle from a tattered, ill-spoken wench into a beautiful woman who passed for a duchess. He accomplished this by teaching Eliza manners, poise, fashion, and most importantly, correct and cultivated speech. Listen to your diction on the recorder and make a list for yourself, and concentrate on correcting one habit at a time.